Hi, this is Pesita from The Emboldened Life. This is Talk Tech Thursday, episode number five. Today, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use Google Docs. This is actually a requested tutorial by someone who wanted to share a document and she's wondering how can she do that? And I told her she can do that with Google Sheets but she has to have Google Drive. This tutorial is to show her how to download Google Drive and how to create a document using Google Sheets. I'll see you in a while. This is the website for Google Drive and the address is google.com forward slash D-R-I-V-E. As you can see over here, you have a lot of choices if you want to know more about Google Drive. But let's just look at one of the things that you can do with Google Drive. Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes of free online storage that you can keep photos, stories, recordings, any file that you want to keep you can share with someone else or a lot of people if you want and they can view it and you can even give them permission to edit whatever file you wanted them to access. When we talk about accessing the file, you can see here that you can access your files in any device, whether it be a smartphone, a tablet or a computer. In other words, the files follow you. So now let's download Google Drive. Your screen might not look like mine because I already have a Google Drive, but somewhere on the screen you will see this download button. So click on it. Google will ask you to agree the terms of service and if you agree you click on the agree and download button put it wherever you want you can save it I'm not going to save it because I already downloaded it after you save the file you will be given instructions to complete the download of G Drive I am assuming that you have a Gmail account because if you do not have a Gmail account, you will not be able to use G Drive. If you do not have a Gmail account, there is a tutorial on how to get one. If you don't know how, if you want to help, just leave me a comment in the comment box below and I will send you the link or I can shoot you a short video on how to create a Gmail account. Now let's go to your Google Drive. When you open your Google Drive the first time, you will not have these folders. It will just be a nice empty space. I have three folders here just to show you what it would look like if you created folders in your drive. How do you add more folders or create a new one? Click on the new button and you have a drop down menu. You can create a new folder, which is what we're going to do right now. Click on this. Let's just say I'm going to call that my freebies and create. You notice Google Drive puts my freebies folder before the other folders because Google Drive arranges the folders alphabetically. You can also upload a file. Click on this left file upload. It will ask you what file you wanted to upload to your Google Drive. Let's say I wanted to upload this. Click open. 
and there you go it's right there you can leave this outside of your folders or you can drag it to any of the folders you want so i'm dragging this since it's since this is a picture i drag it under my picture folder if i click on the picture folder it will show me that i have that jpeg file you can also upload folders if you have a lot of files that are similar or related you wanted to upload them to your g drive all you have to do is put them in a folder and upload the folder so therefore you don't have to manually upload the files individually now this is where i wanted to focus more on this tutorial because as i said this is a reply to a request asking how can she share a document online click on google docs it will open nice empty page let's say that i wanted to write a post so let me just copy some dummy text i'll copy this and paste it Now let's say this is a real post. All right. In Google Docs, you have these toolbars that I'm sure you are very familiar with. If you write any documents using Word or even Pages, and you have almost the same choices. The beauty of Google Docs is, is it saves it right away. And if you make a mistake, there, you can always correct your mistakes by using these arrows. So let's go to your Google Drive or my Google Drive. As you can see, it says it's an untitled document. All we need to do is click on it, right click, and say rename. And let's rename this a test post. Click OK. And you have your name. You can put it in any of these folders. Let's say this is a test post. Let's move it to post. But this time, I wanted to show you some other way of moving it there. Just click on it and scroll down to move to. Google Drive will give you a drop down menu. Where do you want to move it to? I'll say I'll move it to post and click on move. And if you look inside this folder, there's your test post. Let's say you want to share this test post with other people. You can click on it and you'll see this little icon that looks like paperclip. This is where you get your shareable link. You can change the setting. You can either use this link. Anyone with the link can view it. Or you can even change it to anyone on the link can comment or anyone on the link can edit. So you have a choice. So you don't have to copy and paste this long link address. All you have to do is click on this green circle with the paper clip icon i don't know if that is a paper clip but that's how it looks to me click on that the web address is now copied to your clipboard all you have to do now is send the link to your friends and when your friends or your colleague whoever it is that you send the link to gets the link they can open up another tab Let's say, let's use this one. And they can put the link in here. And they'll have the same post that you wrote. If you gave them permission to edit it, they can edit it here and send it back to you. Or if you did not give them permission to edit, just to view, all they could do is to view it or to read it. As you've seen in the video, 
it is so easy to get your own Google Drive. And if you are interested in what else you could do with Google Drive, leave a comment below and I will make a video for you. Again, this is Pasita Florida from The Emboldened Life, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.